Alright, welcome back to Cruel Angel Gaming. So today we're going to be taking a load of tea bags All the way. Hopefully we can get to where it's got to go. We're just going to... Oh, come on! Ah, oh, come on! Come on, that was not even my fault. There was no way that was my fault. I just tried to, like... Get my front end out just a little bit so I can get out. I mean, it's just kind of weird how, you know, they just wanted to do that, and then I'm just like, nope, I want to go. Alright, let's see if I can get enough room to get out of here, which I can. Alright, let's get the heck out of this town. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do right now. Once we get out of town, then I ain't gotta worry about so much, like traffic like that. There was no traffic when I looked, and then all of a sudden it just was like, nope, we don't like that. <laughs> but, I mean, we do have a nice scenic view, so I guess kind of makes up for it, I guess. You know, just, I don't understand it, but anyway, it's just a lot of like, right and left turns right now. Alright, we'll wait for everybody to get the heck out the way. Once everybody's out the way, then, you know, we'll make our turn. And then we'll hop back on the highway pretty much. And, you know, once we get eh, back and on the highway, I think we'll be good. up here, get it ready, or wait forever, I don't know why it takes forever, there's very little traffic right now, the literally is done and I'm sitting here waiting, there, I don't understand, I don't understand who put these traffic lights in, but anyway, all we got left to do is make a simple, easy little run. Alright, which is pretty easy. We're gonna be driving the Mac Anthem as well. I don't know, I kinda like the way they look, but I don't know. I kinda love and hate with the front end of this truck. I, I hate it sometimes and I love it sometimes, I don't know. It's not nice. <laughs> But, you know, that's besides the point, I'm just, you know, I don't know anything I can say about this truck. I mean, it's decent, but it's also a pain, too. Especially when you get wind. Because <laughs> the wind tries to push you right off the road. It's kind of like almost a tap heavy, I guess, in a sense. But, in the same sense, it's, I guess, okay. But that's what we're fighting right now, is pretty much the wind. Not much I can do about it. And I know that, but we'll do our best. We'll do our best to, you know, get where we gotta go. Um, all we got left, once we, you know, get all the traffic, it seems, seems like there's, no matter what highway I take, there's always a bit of traffic. I don't care where where you you send me. It's always so what it seems like is there's traffic, traffic, construction, or something happened. That's usually the three things that usually happen. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I can't. Did a car really just ran me? Really? I didn't even do anything, and I'm the one getting rammed. Man, I didn't do it. Alright, we're gonna go straight. Eh. There's no traffic coming there, it is. I don't know. And besides, I didn't even see the light, so. 
Sometimes I can't see like the small ones. You know, like when I see it on my screen, it's like, you know, a little bit smaller. So I don't see all the, you know, lights and that. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Obviously in this case it's bad, but, yeah, what are you gonna do? Pretty much what we've got is I've got where we're going, which we're staying in uh, Colorado this time, which is nice. But it shouldn't, like as, as long as we get a decent run on the highway and I have to change speeds like 50, 60 different times, like that's kind of where my fuel consumption <laughs> really sucks is because you'll be going 55 and then the speed limit will go up to 65 or 70 and it's just like, why? Yeah, but you gotta do what the speed of traffic is. You know, I just usually follow the speed of whoever's in front of me, usually. If there's nobody, then I just go to 65, 70, that's where I vary. I've never gone any faster than that. Yeah. I'm not handling it too bad, it's just that I gotta remember that, you know, I didn't remember that that turns into a two lane. It's kind of weird how that whole thing works. But, you know, as decent as runs are, I'd say this is a decent run. So far, I mean, the only thing we've had is people just drive into us, which isn't our fault. Which is kind of weird. It's like, why me? <laughs> There's plenty of any other traffic that you could hit. But they're trying to get the one that's trying to do things, you know, the right way, I guess. But, you know, if we get oh, all this running done. I'll be happy, um, I'll be pretty happy, because, you know, these are a pain, I'm gonna take her this exit, alright, I don't think we have to go under any scales or anything, nope, I don't see any, which is good, I thought there was gonna be scales coming out, but apparently there's not. You know, which is kind of weird, you would think that there would be somewhere, but I haven't seen them. If there are, I haven't seen them, at least this far. I mean, there might be some somewhere coming up, but... As far as everything else, it seems to be, you know, good climb. I'm just gonna get back up to 55, about to cruise in. Be good to go after that. Then we just... Let it cruise, and then all we got to do is sit back and steer it. It's pretty much all I'm going to be doing, is steering. Once we get back up to speed. And I know that's going to take a minute. But, you know, it always takes a minute to get back up to speed. It always has. Once we get back up to speed, though, like, I'll be super happy. Because then, after that, you know, that whole run and all that's done. Um, hopefully, you know, that'll be the worst of it. It just seems to be like the wind sometimes will just catch. I know it doesn't look like the trees are moving on this, but when I see it on my monitor, but you can definitely tell. But other than that, I mean, it's an okay run. It's not like all on logs or anything. Which is fine. Now we got dropper speed again. Which, okay, I don't know why. We're just going on the outskirts of the town. We're not even going into the heart of the town. Right? Why would I need to drop my speed? That's what I'm having a hard time understanding is why on the outskirts of towns and stuff, why do you why do you have to go slower? That doesn't make sense to me. 
I could be wrong, but to me that doesn't make sense. But, you know, I guess there has to be, you know. Or is it just 45 because we're going to, like, windy, twisty, like, roads, you know? That, that's another thing, like, you know, I, I don't understand why we have to, like, we're going all the way, we have to go all the way to 45, and I think it was, like, 35 or something like that, 35 or 25. I can't, like, remember. I got, an, like, in another, you know, load. It was, like, I don't understand why you want me to go so slow. When I've got, you know, a heavy load on the back, I can't, I can't really do both. <laughs> Somebody's gonna have to, you know, hit the call at that point. Then this truck tried to freaking hit me. You know, I tried. I was trying to get to the other lane, and then he blocked me from going to that way lane. I tried to go to his left. He went left. And I tried to go back right. Then he went right. And I'm like, can somebody just explain to these guys that I'm trying to? I'm just trying to pass them so I can, you know, so we can actually have, you know, two lanes, and you know, but that's all I'm trying to do. He wasn't having it. I don't know why, but he just wasn't having it. So then we get behind this Coca-Cola truck. Which, you know, hey, that's fine. I think, honestly, though, it's just kind of like, I can feel it, like, the trailer wanting to swing out. I don't know what the weight, what I've got in here. I don't remember the weightage on it but it's not I don't think it's right because sometimes you'll be going fine into these yeah you go to 55 to 45 it's like guys just let me run 50 at least yeah you can see me kind of like getting tired of having to shift up and down like, why do I want to keep going through my gears? Like, this is kind of why I swung a little bit wide. I mean, there's not much I can do because I don't want to hit him, so I just decided to go out a little bit. That's what we did for a while until I was able to, you know, there's gonna be a passing lane in a little bit, and then I just decided, oh, I'm just gonna do the passing lane and just pass him. I did the speed limit, I mean, I didn't do anything like, you know, stupid or anything, I just did the speed limit. But I don't understand why I have fasting lanes on one side, and sometimes not, it's just kind of weird how that whole thing works to me. At least in this section, where you got rocks and all that everywhere, and I'm trying to avoid it with my trailer. I'm trying to do the speed limit. Try not to hit, you know, it, this section of road is, like, really, like, really tricky sometimes. Especially, like, after, like, heavy rain and stuff, like, I could just imagine if it would have been raining and I attempted to do this because this truck probably would slide. It would slide easy and I wouldn't even, I wouldn't be able to control it in time. But, you know. We gotta get all the way. I think there's like a couple more twists and then we kind of straighten back out. Which is kind of a good thing because I'm hoping to straighten this out a little bit. Yeah, I was just trying to stay over a little bit because I'm trying to wanted to wander. Sometimes it happens. It's not too common, but sometimes like the trailer, the main trailer itself will want to go another way. And your truck will want to go the other way, so you gotta kind of like drift the heck out of it. Sometimes it's at least that's what I call having out. I don't know what else to call it. But I'm doing the speed limit, and I caught up to him doing the speed limit. That's the whole thing that I don't understand is how could I have caught up to him while doing the speed limit? 
and I'll do, you know, the speed limit again, and now I have to go even slower. It's like, you know, somebody didn't figure that one through. So we went down to 45 to go back up to 55. That's what I'm like. Why did we have to? There's really no reason. Yeah, this was, yeah. Make sure we go. I went a little wide open, but that was just because they were standing there at that car, and I didn't feel like even getting anywhere close. So, but I'm even doing underneath the speed limit, and I caught for that truck. <laughs> That's just kind of weird. Hoping for a passing lane sometime really soon. I just gotta catch up. You know, get some more speed so I can pass them when we get up here. Man, there should be a pa another passing lane coming up pretty soon. Once we get to that passing lane, I'm gonna try to pass this truck. Hopefully I can do it. Shouldn't be a problem. I'm just kind of watching how I do it because I'm trying not to damage anybody or, you know, wreck anybody or do anything. What's the road? Oh, 60. 60 to 65, that's usually where I'm gonna run it. I mean, sometimes I run 70, depends on where I'm at. Like, if you're, I think it's in a certain place in California and Arizona and Nevada, like, some of the places are like 70. Some are even 85, I think it is. 80 or 85, I can't remember specifically. But I ain't gonna go 80 in this truck. Alright. Now I gotta try to make sure I can pass him. Alright. Gonna get over here. Yeah, I hit that a little bit. But that's fine. Any, I would rather hit those than anybody else. So. And then we're just gonna get in behind this one for a while. Until he I think he will either turn off or not, I'm not sure, but we'll do what we can. We'll stick him behind him because he's you know going a good pace, that's where I'm gonna stick with. I don't see a reason not to. And then, you know, we'll just kinda draft off of him a little bit. 55, okay, which is what I was doing, and then he slowed way down, and then it's like, now I've got to catch back up to all the speed that I had, I don't know why the AA does that, sometimes it's just kind of random, it's like, it'll either be super super sensitive, or super super not, uh, I don't know, Sometimes this is just like I hope that the dang AI just doesn't pull out right in front of me and smack my truck. But it usually does. Why I have no idea. Now I got no room, I should be able to get out. Okay, now we can stay in this lane for a while, and then we'll just pass him. And then we, you know, should be alright with that. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't be. Eh, looks okay. So we passed him. No, no, it just goes back down to two lanes, but you can pass. I'm gonna try to catch back up to where I was. Okay, I'm on 60? It's either 55 or 60. I think you can run 60 sometimes. Like, I guess, depending on, like, if you had a small truck. There we go. I just try to go a little bit wide so I can give my trailer some room to move, but... AI yeah, sometimes doesn't want that to happen either. It's just... Kind of weird how that whole thing works. We're not even... I mean, we're gonna speed a little bit. That's not my fault, though. It's just the way... You know, the truck is. I'm just gonna let it... Kind of let it, you know, 
pull this up on the hill pretty much, put it in neutral, and just let it drip, you know, let it roll down the hill. And if I just let it roll down the hill, I'm not burning as much fuel. The only point we gotta pick it up is when we start going back up on the uphill. Or when I wanna hit the brakes, but for the most part it will drift. I don't wanna keep saying drift. I don't know, it's not my point today for some weird reason. But it will roll all the way down to the bottom of the hill. And then we just pick it up. I'm getting tired of 45 to 55. Make your mind up game. 55 or 45. Which speed do you want me? Because that's the speed you're going to get. <laughs> Maybe one over that if I feel like it. But I'm not, <laughs> not too sure. So, once we start getting up here, we're getting pretty close. Man, it's not going to take us too long. You know, once we start getting up here, then our destination's not too far, actually. Which is kind of good. We're kind of ahead of schedule. I mean... I don't know how we got ahead of schedule. I mean, we started way behind, but that was because we had to make sure what we had in it. Sometimes that happens, I understand, but it is what it is. There's not much you, know, you can do. Alright, so I'm going to try to get right up on it. So when it rolls, I can roll. Alright, there we go. And our destination will be up here, pretty much right where the repair center is, which is what I'm going to have to visit, so that's kind of a good thing, <laughs> I think, sometimes it's, you know, it just is what it is, but that's where it's going to be, um, once, you know, we get up there, get this truck repaired, and, you know, get some sleep, get it ready for the next run. I mean, that's pretty much all I can do at this point. I mean, there's not much more I can do. You know? The truck's pretty much made the whole run that we needed. You know, I mean, it, it does its job. It does what it needs to. Alright. Well, here in a few minutes, we'll be dropping this trailer off, getting the truck repaired. Once we get the truck and trailer into here, I think I'm, I'm not even going to bother the parking it this time. I'm just kind of in a hurry. We don't actually not, but, you know. I am, for the sake of <laughs> the sake of getting this dang trailer off of my truck. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.